When my dad asked me to join him and his mates on a bucket list trip to Fjordland, I jumped at the chance. I had heard a lot about this place, but never really understood just how magical it truly was. Located in the southwest of New Zealand's South Island, Fjordland is known for being a place virtually untouched by the human hand besides the odd crayfishing boat. Starting our journey with a quick 6am mince and cheese pie breakfast at the Tianao Bakery, we were picked up and taken on a spectacularly scenic drive to the ferry by the legends at Cheeky Kiwi Shuttles. While on the ferry, we get to motor past the mighty Manapuri Hydro Power Station. This beast of a power station generates enough power for 619,000 New Zealand homes. From there, it's a short van ride to the boat. Alright, I'm going to take you for a little tour through our boat Tutico by Fjordland Expeditions. So I'm on the back of the boat now. You've got the barbecue and the dive area along here. And then we go through one toilet with a hot shower which was very necessary when you're, uh, when, when you're diving in the snow. And then you've got the galley. Another toilet, and then you got the living quarters. Hey lads. I'm thinking about the oven. Oh yeah, there, back there's the oven that sometimes works. And then you got up here where the skipper does his business and kind of steers the boat. And then down here is where everyone sleeps. Down the stairs, you've got eight bunks. Hey Jackie. Oh, hi. Alright, so. Like eight bunks, and then you've got where our chef Jackie slept. <laughs> and a running fire, which kept us nice and warm. After a short, bumpy ride in the open sea, we motored into the fjord for some blue cod fishing. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of the fish, so we'll let Fred talk about how big his cod was. Okay, and about, Tiana, shit, about that oh, round at the head. Oh, no, so but bigger than that, you reckon? And, and probably about, oh, yeah, about yeah, just, yeah, just yeah, over the fish bin length, mate, because the tail was sticking up the edge. <laughs> 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 Hapuka fishing is also something that's pretty popular in Fjordland. Our skipper Dave took us to one of his favourite spots where we landed one each. Yeah, got him, got him. All aboard. Come on, Mikey. Yeah. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Hapuka. Yeah. Boys. Yeah. Apart from the two we had for dinner, the rest were released back into the ocean to fight another day. Nothing went to waste as we shared the harpooka frames with the resident seven gilled sharks, of which there were many. One of the main things that I was 
really looking forward to with this trip was the scuba diving. Fiordland is famous for its scuba diving, not only because it has amazing fish life, but also all the crayfish. I have never seen so many crayfish in one place in all my years diving. One thing that was really important for my dad to see was the black coral. Most black coral grows at significant depth, but in Fiordland, due to the darker waters, it grows at 20 metres below sea level. After a day of fishing and scuba diving, we're all sitting around, or lying around, and uh, yeah, it's snowing outside, so. It's alright, it's, it's the inversion layer with the lake being at 8 degrees. And it's yeah. cold, it just looks a lot. Pretty cold out there. What do you think, Livy? Oh, bloody beautiful. <laughs> One thing that I never grew tired of was the food. Chef Jackie was more than happy to cook whatever we caught that day. So everything was always fresh. And like all good things, after five glorious nights, our trip had to come to an end. But not before the grand finale. A helicopter ride over the few woodland ranges back to Tiana. So all up, everybody had a blast. But don't take my word for it. Here's what the other guys had to say. Bloody amazing. Fantastic, April. Eh, Trip was absolutely fantastic. Diving was incredible. Uh, the scenery, the whole, the whole thing was just unbelievable. Bloody Fucking awesome. awesome. Bloody awesome. Yeah. That was amazing. It was great. Awesome. Trip of a lifetime. Well organised, Brian.